outdoor dining options have become more common, if not essential, due to the restrictions brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic. However, what is less common is the attention to detail given to these outdoor spaces. Several Needham organizations have collaborated to begin painting the cement barriers that separate patrons from the flow of vehicle and foot traffic. We spoke to organizers to learn more about how and why they are bringing color to Needham. This project has taken many months to come to fruition. It's been a partnership between the town of Needham, uh, the Economic Development Department. It has been the DPW involved. It has been the Needham Community Revitalization Trust Fund and the Needham Council for Arts and Culture. So we've all come together to support local businesses so that we can safely dine outside this summer. With the pandemic, they had to get outdoor dining set up outside and need them really fast. And so these Jersey barriers, they just came in. So there wasn't as much um, of a focus on the aesthetics as opposed to sort of the functionality and making sure that we could support the restaurants um, as quickly as possible. If you've seen them, they're a little bit of an eyesore. So when we saw them, we thought, oh, these need to be painted by artists. These are exactly the kinds of things that, you know, the Revitalization Trust Fund has been trying to, you know, uh, add into the uh, atmosphere and vibe of, of Needham since uh, 1999. The Jersey barriers were primed by DPW. They were put into place. And then um, thanks to the coordination of Charlie Nanda and um, some folks over at the NCAC, uh, we were able to locate some local artists who we paired with the restaurateurs. We have a group of artists from Gorse Mill Studios and all of us have our own style, and so really what we wanted to do is highlight four of our different styles and have them transition one to the next to add some brightness um, to the neighborhood, to the dining, help draw attention for people to, to dine locally and to support you know, the Needham businesses. We worked with Sherwin-Williams, who was wonderful, and they donated all the supplies, all the paint that we needed. Also, the artists are going to be paid for their work for the piece that they're doing at Sweet Basil because the Needham Council for Arts and Culture believes strongly in paying artists. They actually have been hit harder in this pandemic than any other industry, losing their jobs and their income at 20% higher than other industries. I am a community muralist and when the pandemic hit, all of my work stopped. Um, I couldn't really paint with community anymore and couldn't do much of, of anything anymore. And so with spring, with the vaccinations, with this amazing town of Needham really offering to support artists during this time, we're able to come together and to, and to paint together. This Jersey Barrier Project is bringing color to the town of Needham. Beyond enhancing aesthetics, public art helps to build community engagement, and a sense of place. Every town has its, you know, sort of own character to it. Part of that whole experience of Needham is the fact that we have a really active artistic community um, from a variety of different, uh, you know, elements. I mean, it's not just uh, painting, all different types of forms of art. And the community really doesn't get to experience as much of that as, as they really could. It's a way really, I think, for the community to sort of flex its creative muscle and, and show off you know, some local talent and create some interest and some excitement um, around it and, and draw more foot traffic to support um, the business community.